Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have some pretty hilarious, pretty interesting news coming out of the LCS. It's just some trash talk we have to cover, some trash talk that we have to talk about between TSM and Team Liquid. This is Spika going after Alfari, Spika going after Armeo, uh, Alfari kind of firing some shots back. Uh, just some really, really interesting stuff, which, which I do like to see, especially when it is some of the bigger, better, more popular players in the LCS, because that is the stuff that people are actually going to care about. You know, people might not care as much if some random player on like Immortals tries talking a little trash, but when you get the biggest and best players like Spika, Alfari, I think are really two of the better players in the league Alfari maybe not so much in summer split but I think once he you know kind of regains his footing and everything will be one of the better players uh so I think this stuff's fun I think it's exciting I love talking about it and it's just funny to see some of these tweets get your guys reactions and everything uh definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video I'd appreciate it so so much subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content and consider checking out my patreon over at patreon.com slash I am germ if you want to go the extra mile supporting my content my channel uh and myself with that being said here we go so obviously yesterday Sunday of the LCS I don't know is it week six week seven something like that I, I I you know the weeks are hard to keep track of after a while um, but the TSM report or TSM FTX report tweeted out uh, we're not Hawaii but we're 5-0 against liquid we absolutely crush the team fights and end the week on a high note um, that is crazy Team Liquid is 0-5 against TSM. I believe they are also maybe winless against Cloud9. I think Team Liquid has like a very, very terrible record against the top teams, but they beat all the bottom teams. Like They've been very, very consistent. They almost never get an upset, but they almost never get upset either, um, which is just interesting, weird. But yes, TSM 5-0 and against Team Liquid, um, not including the playoffs, which was weird as well because TSM actually did good against them in the spring regular season, couldn't get it done in the playoffs. Maybe summer will be different because now TSM is actually looking like significantly better than Team Liquid. Uh, but the funny stuff, it was coming after this game where, uh, you know, the dust settled a little bit. Uh, TSM picked up a win. And then, you know, it, once everyone gets back home, they start scrolling through Twitter. They start seeing a bunch of hot takes and stuff. And then eventually people start talking. And the tweets we got was from TSM FTX speaker where he said, maybe Jenkins is coming in this week. And I thought this was hilarious. I liked it. It got like 3,000 likes. I'm sure it'll have more. Um, I'm, I'm recording this video not too long after it was posted, I don't believe. Um, but 3,000 likes, pretty funny. Um because this is interesting for a couple of reasons. One, uh, Alfari actually played all three games this weekend for Team Liquid. Um, first time that's happened in a while um, since spring split because, you know, he came back, he played that one game, then he missed like five or six weeks, and then last week they played, uh, they switched them off a little bit every other game, but now this week it was all Alfari, and Team Liquid looked okay, not great. I mean, it, it didn't really change a whole lot. They did try changing up their whole play style like completely before Jenkins was kind of playing weak side, kind of just, I, I don't know, they were mixing things up. But now with Alfari, they've been really trying to play heavy through topside. Um, and I don't know, they just look a little rusty. They look a little uncomfortable. Alfari hasn't been bad, but he hasn't been like good. He hasn't been like great, anything like that. And in this TSM game, he started out okay. He had, he, he had a decent laning phase, but I don't think his gangplank was really a huge factor in this game. And, and Hooney ended up having a pretty decent game on the Jace lane and some really, really key poke um, onto Tactical in a couple of fights. Uh, but just really funny that uh, Spika is calling this out. Like, hey, where's Jenkins at? You know, we saw him last week. It's, it's kind of an interesting roast, kind of a funny roast, just because it's not like Jenkins has looked that good. And it's not like Team Liquid looked better with Jenkins than they did today. But again, TSM takes him down. Uh, they, they beat Team Liquid. He decides to call out Alfari. I thought this was hilarious. But then, don't worry, Alfari fires back. Um, you know, not as many likes or anything like that. But he said, didn't you get fucked by an emergency sub jungler in our last best of five? Maybe it wouldn't be a bad move to put him in versus you, actually, yeah, and this tweet is kind of funny, kind of bad. I think the first part is hilarious. You know, calling out him getting beat by an emergency sub jungler in the last best of five, that is just a good tweet. That is funny. I, that probably deserves more likes um, because, yeah, dating back to the last playoffs, spring playoffs, Armeo came in last minute with Team Liquid, and I was like, okay, TSM's going to win this for sure. TSM's ready to go. Team Liquid ends up beating TSM with a sub jungler, but then also they end up going to game five with Cloud9. Cloud9 ends up doing pretty good at MSI. It turned out that Team Liquid was 
still pretty fine with Armeo in the jungle in spring. Uh, you know, the meta, I think, definitely helped out a lot. And the fact that Armeo hasn't been terrible and TSM wasn't that great at the time. I don't know. It was really, really weird. Um, but then uh, the second part of this tweet where Alfari says, maybe it wouldn't be a bad move to put him in versus you actually. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't get what that means. Armeo did play in this game. He's already in. So I, I didn't get that far. It didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe it's going over my head. I'm not sure. But I was at least glad that Alfari did respond. I did think that that was funny. You know, he's getting his shots in too because that was a hilarious situation. And if you're Alfari, you would much rather have that playoff best of five win than Spica talking about regular season wins. So if TSM really wants to back up this trash talk, if they really want to hammer this home, they need to be able to get this done in the playoffs, not be 5-0 and in the regular season. They need to be 3 and something in the summer playoffs, and then that's when stuff will really, really get good. Um, but obviously, it's also in a weird spot for Team Liquid right now where they're not really looking like a top team anymore, so it is a little bit hard to trash talk. They are having to kind of bring up the pass. I don't know, pretty funny. But again, the tweets did not stop there. Uh, this, I thought, was honestly one of the better tweets, and, and again, Spika kind of ratios him here. Uh, I assume Spica has more followers. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to check that. Spica has 40K. Alfari, oh, so yeah, Spica even has less followers. Still getting the ratio. That's impressive. He said, your sub jungler that still thinks it's Udir Hecarim unskilled full clear meta? Yeah, I haven't seen him since last playoffs. Prob still farming the Krugs, and that is hilarious um, because I, I think there is a lot of truth in this. I do think that the meta definitely helped out our Mayo last split, and I think it also hurt Spica because now that we're seeing more carry junglers getting into play, especially the Diana, which Spica has looked like an absolute boss on the last couple of weeks, Spika's playing like he might be one of the best players in the league. I really believe that Spika is playing at an MVP level. If TSM is just a little bit more consistent if tsm is just a little bit better if they just pick up a couple more wins end of the year i really think speaker should be in that mvp conversation i think he should be in those mvp considerations i think he is the best player on tsm and you know armeo is not that um, armeo is not keeping that up he's not really looking that great he's not being a big carry threat like speaker is um so i just thought that this was very very funny and again uh just a nice little tweet back and then obviously he's got to get the uh, little gif in there to another ratio by speak of which it is funny this whole exchange was funny i don't think either player comes out looking better or worse from this i do appreciate some good trash talk i wish more people would come out and do stuff like this i think it would more be more entertaining rather than doing it on twitter i wish some people you know would grab the mics and say some stuff like this after lcs games get get clips uh, let riot use some stuff in their broadcast uh in teasers and stuff i think that would take the whole lcs to the next level um tsm twitter also got in on the action uh they tweeted out this which says uh you know spend millions on your top laner go zero and five against tsm and then liquid and fourth which i also thought was pretty funny so a big rivalry obviously tsm and team liquid uh one team kind of trending up tsm's kind of looking better recently team liquid definitely looking worse in summer um but the trash talk the rivalry the bad blood everything is still there and i think that is good for the lcs i think it is good for these teams i think it is good for the fans and i hope we do continue to see this stuff uh, again from some of our best players Spika is playing super good league of legends right now he has a hilarious personality he loves calling people out hey more power to him i think they should keep it up i thought this was hilarious uh calling out afari calling out our mayo uh, afari getting the shots into hey good job boys but that's pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it i'd appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below what do you think about this whole situation do you think Spika had the better tweets do you think afari did do you think uh, trash talks cringe do you think people should do it more i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content uh consider checking out my patreon patreon.com slash i am germ if you want to support me even more uh hopefully i catch you guys in the next one but until then peace